Hey, what's going on guys? It's American Revolution Reenactors back at it again today with another video. Today, we're going to be doing part two of the knapsack video. This bad boy right here, the Warner knapsack. Let's get started. Alright guys, so we're here now with the uh, knapsack. Nothing in it. It's all folded and collapsible. And so we have all of our gear that we would put in the knapsack laid down on the table. So we'll start from my left to right. So first up we have tump line for our bedroll in case we decide to tie it instead of leaving it in the knapsack, which I'll get more into later. Cards, playing time, passes the boredom. Socks, always nice to have an extra pair of socks because they're always gonna get ripped somehow. Now utensils, we have a bowl, which isn't really a utensil, but you know, I don't care fork and a knife now the reason to not have a spoon it's just lighter to the pack and if you're gonna have soup you can just drink it out of the bowl there's no point in having a spoon because that's the only thing you need a spoon for in the first place so fork and knife is just really all you need now next I have these two mats this is for putting food in so at some reenactments will be issued a pound of pork and I'll bring a half pound of bread so I'll wrap the pork up in this, then I'll wrap the bread up in this because it's smaller, it's only a half pound. And then I'll put that in my knapsack. You guys will see that later. A notebook, diary, journal, whatever you want to call it, just write down the day's events, right? Next, a shirt. Yes, I know from a distance and from up near, this is a pretty Farby shirt, but it just takes up space and it's a shirt, so you know, I really don't care. Um, a tavern cup. Um, Get, show you what that does later and of course our blanket roll this is pretty big this is a wool blue and white checked blanket that will be one of the last parts of our knapsack we'll start at the bottom half here so what i like to do is i used so what i used to do is put all the soft things like clothes and stuff in this bottom part and all the heavy stuff in here but i learned that to my misfortune at rebecca nurse when my knapsack literally broke in half because once i was like 50 pounds and once i was like one kilogram uh oh <laughs> my knapsack just came apart okay. so what i do now is i pack all my regular things in this side and i put my food items at the top so it keeps a nice even balance sort of weight so the first thing i'll pack is my journal slash diary thing i'll put that in one of the corners in this case you guys looking at it this would be your left corner right there next would be my bowl put it upside down right in the middle then I put my extra pair of socks on your guys's right side so now we have almost like a flat line somewhat of a flat line next cards tump line stuff that right behind the socks Next, our fork and knife. We'll just slide that in the middle of the bowl in the diary journal. Then finally on this side is gonna be our Farby shirt. I really don't care that it's Farby at all. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it like this, fold that in half and just slide it right on top there. So now you should have a full, somewhat flat square right there. And now we'll come in for when the blanket goes in later. All right, so now is the second part. The top half of our knapsack will be for food items. It's gonna unfold this and unfold this. I know this isn't really gonna be in depth, but what I normally would do, as you see, it unfolds. I'd wrap the pork up in one side and just keep rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. And rolling so it's all secure, then I'd just stuff that in one side. Then my bread, I'd do the same thing. Put it one side, rolling, 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 rolling. Then I'd stuff this in the other side. So now that is somewhat flat as well. Now, so the final major part, also before I do that, I should probably say, your cup can also go in this side of your knapsack but I prefer to keep it on the outside, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. 
So, our I guess you could say our final piece is the blanket. So the blanket, what you want to do is you want to just line it up right inside there like that. You don't want to put it on this because then all the blanket will like curl up like that and it'll be really complicated. So you want to put it right in front of there. So you see the pouch is right on top of the, where the blanket is. Then just fold that over. See, it's going to get stuck a little bit. So you just have to keep adjusting until it finally doesn't curl up in a ball. There we go. Starting to work now. Let's put this right over here. here. What you want to do is this will meet the buckles down here. These buckles are... There we go. And prefer... Just this knapsack. Every knapsack is different. But just on this knapsack, I like to put it through the second hoop. And we'll do both each side first. We'll do the middle last. Jeez. There we go. All right, so now the reason why we're doing the middle last is because the cup. So like I said, you can put the cup inside, but I prefer to keep the cup on the outside. So how we do this, very simple. There, or there's two ways. You can put the cup right here, or you can put the cup on the strap, which is what I'll do just for simpler reasons right now. Put the strap on, once again, the second hole. And now your cup dangles off just like that. And that is a fully packed um, Warner knapsack, or pack as some people refer to it as, fully packed for campaign, march, Philadelphia, New York, whatever you're marching on. Uh, so y'all ready to go. All right, guys, just for context, because I know some of you are probably gonna ask me, this is what it looks like when it's on my back, fully complete and ready to go. And of course, of course I'll have my other gear on too, such as my cartridge box, my canteen, my, uh, let's see. Bayonet. Ba my bayonet. I'm really blanking right now. Um, but anything else that you might put on will also be on too. Of course, the knapsack will go on top. And also, another thing I'd recommend is putting on your canteen last. In other words, over the uh, knapsack because it's very big and bulky. And if you're trying to get to your canteen, it's not going to work unless this is on top of your knapsack. So that wraps up the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And if you're interested in joining any of our regiments, let us know in the comment section below.